Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 3. Last time, we made our way to the Ursa Lava Caves, and we got a bunny key. Don't ask. And we got that at the bottom right corner of the map there, and I just backtracked here to an area that I hadn't uh, explored yet. It's got a little treasure chest here, so we might as well just pick that up. It's a Damask Gauntlet. Now, I think I already either have that or we have a better one, but I'll check it anyway. Uh, yeah, we have a better one, so we don't need that one. I think that's the one you can buy in uh, Aeroglyph, probably. Eh, don't need that. Gotta love item creation. Now, let's see if I can get by without having to fight him. This one's always a pain to get by. Dirty. Yeah, last time I broke my uh, gauge, or well, since last time I, I broke my battle gauge, so... Now we're just going to run from these guys, even though I found a, a more effective way of killing them. So you do want to take your uh, middle path up here first. There are a few treasures along the way, but not many. And as you can see, we're going to have more encounters with this guy. Okay, guys. This guy I can fight, why not? I'll we'll probably end up getting my battle bonus gauge. Now, I think he can heal himself there, right? Eh? I think the type of attack you use now uh, is determined or has an influence, at least, on what you're going to get as far as your bonus. So if you use a normal attack, like a, a weak one, you get a certain thing. If you use a strong normal attack, you get something else. I think it's a strong normal attack gets you triple experience, and a weak one gets you uh, double full. Uh, battle skills seem to get me increased uh, regeneration after battle, and I don't know what gets increased drop rate. Maybe Symbology? I never use it, so I don't know. Uh, symbology is something that I find absolutely useless in this game. Stop that. Let's get that treasure chest there, some crafting materials that I don't particularly need right now, but I will be able to make use of later. And let's collect some more map here. This is actually not the correct way to go to yet, but uh, you're going to want to make sure you heal after every battle at this point. Uh, we're... One thing of note is when you're in here and you get hit there, your all your party members take damage, including the ones not in your party. So uh, be aware of that. I haven't used Roger at all. He's already taken over almost 300 damage, so... Just kind of be aware of that. Yeah, this isn't the right way to go yet, um, but there is a door behind here, but we can't get through to open it. I'm not sure if you have to approach that door in order to initiate the uh, other sequences, but I'm going to meet you back at the start of this area now, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, while I was off screen, I got a level up for Maria and learned Stun, and Albel learned Increase HP Damage thing. Ooh. Uh, this one. There you go. So, yeah, I'm not particularly worried about that right now, but oh well. So, in this side, we have more enemies to deal with. I don't want to fight you. Go away. There's actually two different ones. There's the armored one, and then there's that one. You can put that one out. It'll take a little more damage. Uh, the armored ones are always going to be armored, I believe. Okay. Not mean to run into that guy. Or that guy. It's nice to be able to freeze kill enemies in here because they tend to have such high defense. So, kind of use uh, whatever it is, uh, Ice Blades or uh, the Ice Sword attack for fate, kind of liberally. Uh, definitely want to do that. Now, this is locked. Something written on the door. No monsters allowed. Do not low go looking for a scared key by the bunny. Um, yeah, I'm, I understand that, you know, the bunny wrote it, but say by the bunny and we found it by the statue. Yeah, yeah, but that's not very interesting. Anyway, he's talking about the rabbit ears key, so let's just give it a try. And we can enter here. Now, we'll have to feel our way. Basically, you get kind of a... Is this technically mode 6? I don't even know anymore. Um, there's not a lot to this. I don't think there's any enemies around here. But basically, you just kind of have to go back and forth. But looking at me trying to play this is... Okay, there are enemies here. Okay, jeez. Turn me into a liar, why don't you? Is not really indicative of how annoying it is to uh, 
to get your make your way through this area. All right, let's see if we can get through some more of this area. Yeah, we do get a whole bunch of map here, even though like we can't see, but we still have access to our, our map. So that, that's kind of weird. And after that fight, uh, we learned Ariel for Albel there. Not that I'm gonna use it, but everyone else seems to have it. He might as well have it as well. Man, I got my ass kicked in that fight. Jesus Christ, I am so running low on MP healing items at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I got five blackberries left. <laughs> I still have some more food that I'll use. I don't think I'll use any more of the blackberries unless I'm doing it off screen. And I don't want to fight you, go away. Eh. It's kind of difficult to navigate in here. Now, where's the dead end? I know there's at least one treasure. Ow. And I keep healing after every single fight. This is another area where you kind of have get stuck with this uh, difficulty spike. Let's use some of these instead. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I do want to collect all of the, uh, the map that's in here. There is a treasure, at least one. There's one. Can I open that, please? Book of Prophecies 2. Now, I believe that might be another recruiting item. I can't recall off the top of my head. I want to fight you. Hey, I dodged one. <laughs> I dodged two, actually. Alright, let's, uh, we've got that. You can't actually center your map in this area, which is why it's so difficult to kind of navigate through. You can kind of control it, but every time the screen moves, you have to kind of adjust, and it's kind of irritating. Anyway, here we get a house. And we can actually collect a map in the house, which is... And there's uh, a workshop here as well. So, give me a quick sec. I want to double check something real fast. Okay, I got it all figured out. So, once we arrive here, we can talk to the rabbit-like humanoid. Who looks strangely like that statue. Somebody erected a statue. I'm assuming it was him. Um... <laughs> yeah. We found it before we looked at the uh, the note. Sorry. I almost always do that, because it's just so much easier to go to the right as soon as you get into the area. We don't seem to be monsters. And... Oh, look at that. That's kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, this is Vanilla. And he's pleased to meet us. Anyway, we come to speak to the dragon, of course, and we've gone through all of the part of the caves that we can, and it is blocked by volcanic rock. We actually got to see that. Uh, I don't think you have to in order to do that, considering that line of dialogue, but who knows. Oh. And he's still calling me a fool, because why the hell not? Of course he didn't say that, but... Albel, you make no sense. <laughs> anyway, how do we remove the rock? Oh, I see a mischievous grin on his face. But I need a glowstone. Oh, the Ring of Disintegration. Okay. Uh, well, some of them forever, most of them not. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, anyone can use it. Basically, it's what we want. It's the item that'll allow us to explore absolutely everything. So. Oh, he's an inventor. I'm not even sure, but we can recruit him at some point in the game. I just can't remember when. Anyway, he needs a glowstone, and it's in the Aeriglyph Aqueducts, but it's hidden in an ice-covered room. Oh, yeah. We have to have it in order to proceed with the game. And I want to get a whole bunch of items. As soon as possible. It'll put food on the table. When do you need it by? As soon as possible, of course. How much will you pay? Well, if you give him a thousand, he'll make it for you. And that's it. You pay ten thousand, he'll give you... He'll make it for you, and he'll give you an item that's unique. And you'll get the exact same item for giving him thirty thousand. So, pay him ten thousand. We have more than enough money at this point that that means nothing. It's a deal. Anyway. 
you'll find the glowstone covered in ice. Use these disintegration bombs, which are different from the disintegration hammers, by the way, to break through. Only giving you 10. I'm assuming he'll refill them. More experience, even battling weak enemies. Makes it more challenging as well. So basically, I think it just increases the difficulty level from, like, uh, what are we on here? Galaxy to, like, universe or something like that. I'm not exactly sure how it works. You get a little more experience. Um, disintegration bombs work just like uh, disintegration hammers. Uh, let's get through all that. Haven't found it yet. Okay, now let's go check out the invention info because we haven't done that in a while. Oh, another scene. A technological superpower? Greetin craftsman Master Bellinture has invented an incredibly powerful sword. Hey, I could use one of those. He's named it Divine Avenger. And that's a callback to Star Ocean Second he Story. I think that was the, the, most powerful the, sword in the I think world. that was the ultimate weapon or ultimate sword in that game. Incredible. Oh. My sympathies to the other craftsmen. Yeah. Can I buy it now? It looks like only one of these ultimate weapons will be put on sale. I'll buy it right now. <gasps> Welch! Welch! Huh? It's priced at... Oh! Wow! 50 million full! Yeah. Who in the world could afford such a Not thing? Not me. Not in this game, anyway. This isn't Final Fantasy VII. I don't have an easy Let's... money-making schedule. Huh? That was all wrong. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> that was pointless. Let's do that. Sure, why not? Ah, somebody created an antidote. Thin armor with just junk. Neural augmenter. I believe this is useful. I'll have to check. An aqua ring, which I don't care about. Bangle of intellect. Chocolate banana! I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of bananas. That just does not appeal to me. And we got gratin. Mm, macaroni, chicken, white sauce. I'll take it. That, that sounds really good, actually. A crude ring, a ragged book, some dessert, and an earth gem, which I don't care about, and a water discharge. Okay, so... Whoa, there's a lot of stuff I should check out in the store here. Yeah... I wonder how many of those books did I pick up? Six, five, only two, man. Three. Oh, well. I'll be able to go grab some more here. Let's see. Elven slippers. We can put that on uh, display here. Throw the fast forward feature on because that takes forever. False Needle's the one we made, not the one that I got. Uh, from something else. Anyway, we can do that. I actually wanted to check something. I probably should have done that. Uh, don't need that. I need the inventor list. Do we have access to vanilla at this point? No, we do not. Okay, that comes later. But yeah, we can recruit him into our party at some point. So. Anyway, with that being said... No! This is why I hate this map. Okay, so, go forward see if I can get out of here without running into another battle. So basically, I'm going to do a whole bunch of backtracking now because I need to. There we go. At this point, uh, we need to go back to Ereglith. Note that you can still use the air dragons uh, right outside of the uh, Beckwheel mine, but I'm going to meet you back at the workshop here, well, in the, the bar ruins, and we're going to recruit Misty Lear at this point, and then I'll meet you back at uh, Ereglith afterwards. Okay, we're back. Now, all we need to do is offer her the Spirit Stone, which we picked up, uh, uh, I think, in the ruins of uh, inside Mountain's Bar. And you offer her this. And she, you give it to her. She will join your team. Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, you want her because she's the second best alchemist in the entire game and extremely useful basically required if you want to get the best uh, alchemist in the game because she I don't think she makes the item but she's the only one like she has a second highest skill so she's the only one who brings you up to a high enough uh, 
talent level to actually make the item at all, and it's still extremely difficult. So, that, that place does alchemy, let's just put you there, put you to work. Now I'll meet you in Aeryglyph. Okay, we're back in Aeryglyph. Now, normally I wouldn't show all this off, but there's a whole bunch of new items here, and I figure I might as well show you the stuff that I'm getting. Just get some extra sage and lavender, no big deal there. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that could be interesting if you're interested in doing intelligence. You could get um, the emerald here. I don't care for that. Uh, the aqua ring and other such rings increase your own damage with water-based uh, spells as well as giving you guarding against uh, half of the incoming damage. So that could be useful if you care. I don't. The Angel of Intellect is pretty much the best thing you have at this stage for increasing intelligence. So again, if you want to do that, by all means. Let's see here. Most of this stuff I've ignored. Broach of footwork. I'm just getting some extra ones for my other party members so I don't have to switch them. And picking up a bunch of potions here. Uh, bitter potion. I don't need that. Uh, fruity potion, sweets, or be all that same kind of stuff. All the tomes. Just pick up as many as there are. You know, up to, I guess, a total of eight, including the ones you have already had. Uh, barbecue pork ramen. 70% MP. I'm going to take that. It's a thousand full each, but not bad. Uh, usually I don't need HP healing items as often, so I'm not as worried about it. Eh, throw the stake on there too. And these ones are usually 30%. Anything that's umai boo, umai bo, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what that means, but whatever. Get some more cold soba. NATO, ah, good enough. We can grab some of that too. That's uh, more HP, you don't need to worry about that. Mammoth meat is just too expensive to buy, considering I have better ways of doing that. The Groton is uh, food, so restoring you from death really doesn't help you all that much since you can't use it in battle. So I don't care for that. This is all junk. Let's see, I got healing device. Yeah, see, this is the same as the Mammoth meat, but it costs only 800 instead of 4,000. So yeah, much better there. Uh, and some more bombs if you happen to get lucky enough to uh, do that there. So, anyway, I'm just going to spend, wow, 100 and some odd thousand. Damn, that's a lot of money. Anyway, uh, I can sell some other stuff later. I do want to pick up some more blueberries and stuff while I'm here since I uh, kind of ran myself ragging on them. I believe they're in this shop here, if I recall correctly go. Get some more of those things. Yeah, steamed bun. That's got 30% HP, and that's probably the cheapest you're going to get for 30% HP, uh, at least reliably, so you could pick up that if you wanted. I don't care all that much. I'm going to get more money at some point, whenever I need to, basically. So, now that we've done that, we can head back into... Nope go back up here, and we can pick up that uh, item, the glowstone that uh, the bunny was looking for. So let's just head back in here. Now, if I recall correctly, I think... Make sure you dodge. You don't want to get hit. You don't want to have to run all the way back to uh, the bunny in order to pick up uh, more of those bombs, because that's a long way to go back. Alright, so while well, we're in here, we might as well uh, kill that as well. Because we're not going to run out anymore, because there's the glowstone! And I just want to kill these so I can get additional bits of the map, so I don't have to come back in this room. Uh, that, that's one thing you can do while you're here. Actually, you've removed all of the stuff that's here, which is kind of weird. But uh, yeah, if you go here, you can pick up a, a little bit more of the map. Kill that. That's one thing to note, is if you do it while you're standing on the ice, it will actually kill the uh, the ice there. So that's uh, kind of interesting, I guess. I don't think I have enough of these bombs to go and get everything, but I might as well go back and at least go to this one room up here. So I think there's something in here that I can get. I could be wrong. This is probably nothing in here. No, there's nothing in here. So, we'll just pick up a little tiny bit of map, and then I just won't have to do this later. Now, you can actually... No. I think you can actually control 
which ones you're trying to hit. Now, see how that one moved a little bit? So it's actually going to disintegrate. If you don't uh, disintegrate all of, or, you know, if what one of the things you disintegrate uh, causes something else to move, you move, usually that will uh, get you the ability to, what am I trying to say? Um, whoa! How'd that happen? I was walking. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, usually that will dislodge one of the other ones, and you won't have to worry about that one either. So, there we go. And now, again, I will meet you all the way back in the other area. But since that's pretty much it for this one, we'll have to do that at the start of the next episode there. So, yeah, um, anything else to do at this stage? Not particularly. I want to go back and I want to get the Ring of Disintegration. Then we're going to do a whole bunch of extra stuff. Return to dungeons. I'm going to have to figure out how to go about doing that. It does to not take forever. Um, but anyway, that's all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.